the super scene. Hey, you're joining us just in time to meet two young, striving individuals, Mr. Ron Banks and Mr. John Drew of the Idaho Jazz. And coming right up after we talk to them, we've got our special guest star, Junior, who's getting set up right now. But Ron, we've been seeing you all week long in this commercial, and you got on a basketball uniform. What's up? <laughs> Man, the super hoop is up, Matt. Uh, of course, uh, I brought my big brother with me, John Drew from Utah Jazz, a very talented individual for many years uh, in the NBA, and uh, is currently in there, and uh, he's going to have a ball Sunday uh, at Joe Louis Arena, and it's going to start at about 5, 5 o'clock at Joe Louis Arena, the Super Hoop Classic, and contrary to what they all may say, the Super Hoop Classic is on. We're going to have a ball. I heard uh, John say... Uh, he didn't come here for nothing. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's true. You know, I'm here to play basketball Sunday, and that's what's going to happen. Exactly. John, what, what is your point average now? I'm averaging about 22 points uh, over my career. And he said he's, he's capable of getting 50, 50 points any night. That's what he told me. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. Hey, man, hey. You, know, you know, even in the game that we're going to play, because it's going to be two games, you know, uh, with the celebrities and stuff against the personalities from uh -huh. the TV and radio. And uh, uh, Tommy Hearns and myself, we had went fishing uh, this morning. Man, you after, couldn't have gone. You couldn't after have the gone. Party. Yes, we did, man. We went to see what we could catch up there. Uh -huh. And uh, we had a ball, but uh, we're looking forward to the uh, first game as well. Uh, make sure it's going to be fun for the whole family. Who are some of the celebrities going to be playing? Uh, we got a lot of different personalities from all the different radio stations as well as some of the TV programs and uh, a lot of cats from all the different groups and stuff. I don't, I don't have the list with me to know uh -huh. that, but uh, that when they get there, they'll see that we're going to have a ball. It's going to be fun for everybody. Joe Lewis Arena Sunday. What about some of the stars of the NBA, John? Well, uh, Julius Irving will be here, uh, Adrian Dantley, uh, right. Moses Malone, right. Andrew Tom. Right. Moses will be here? That's true. Uh -huh. But don't worry about Moses. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I think it's going to be a, a real good, exciting basketball game. we got a lot of players that can put the points on the board. And I just hope everybody come out and have some fun. How many do you think you're going to put in out? I don't know. I'm capable of getting 50 every night. <laughs> <laughs> capable of 50 every night. Hey, you guys. I'm doing a dozen across the board. 12 points, 12 assists, and I'm going to look at 12 women. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. That Matt told me to say that. <laughs> Ronnie, you're yeah. too much. Uh, just speaking about music, uh, Ronnie and I happened to talk a little bit last night, and you are doing some music things. Uh, right, I'm currently working on uh, the first solo album that I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, of course, I'm not, I will say this, I'm not leaving the fellas, Matt. Okay, okay. I am not going to leave the fellas, but uh, I've got, a, uh, I'm in negotiations right now. I'm getting ready to sign with CBS Records, and uh, Belita Woods, a very talented young lady uh -huh. right out, out of Detroit, Michigan, used to be with uh, Brainstorm. Right. She's doing a couple cuts with me on the album, and the single features uh, Belita and myself, and it'll be out in September. So, oh. looking forward to being here. All that. right. Ryan? John Drew, Idaho Jazz, thanks for coming by. See you out there Sunday at the ball game. See go to work. Whoa. Hey, listen, guys. Mama used to say a lot of things. Am I right or wrong? Huh? Mama used to say, Mama used to say, Mama yeah. used to say. Yeah. Hey, Junior. Everybody, would you welcome Junior yeah. to the scene? Yeah. Hey, 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 ladies, ladies, calm down here. Junior, welcome to Detroit and the scene, of course. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have you played Detroit before? You did play the Masonic once, didn't you, or did you? No, I haven't. Uh, this is my first time through America. I'm, like, on a promotional tour at the moment, and I started out in, like, Los Angeles, and I'm coming Wait a minute. Place. You have a black guy with a British accent here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you picked that up. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... That's no, right. <laughs> You know, we didn't have an opportunity to talk. I said, hey, we'll get acquainted. Uh, yeah, we do all of that and stuff, right? Hey, I don't believe this. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Your accent. And about how. my accent and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You right. <laughs> yeah, I was born and raised in London. Um, my parents are from Jamaica. But uh, I was the only one who was born there. So did you start your recording, uh, recording career in London? Yes, I did. Uh, I started out around about 12 years ago. I don't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, for real. I started out around about 12 years ago. And uh, from then onwards, I've been, you know, writing and singing and really trying to get ahead. How is it for a black in London? It's is great, it like man. It's really, it's really good. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I don't think um, 
No, I, I love it. I love it. Can you compare, uh, say, London and uh, one of your favorite cities in the United States? Well, this is the first uh, program I've actually been on where I've had a lot of like chance to see the dancers and stuff. And uh, the dance routines are real different to what we do at home, and it's great. Energy. Energy. <laughs> Energy. No, they're so great. You're on a promotional tour in the United States? Yeah, I started out in Los Angeles, and I've been on tour San Francisco, Houston, Dallas, uh, Memphis, New Orleans. Um, I'm going to Chicago. I've been to Miami, uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. Boston. Oh, man. <laughs> That's like work, isn't it? Well, it is. I mean, like, I've, I've so far hit 19 cities in 21 days. That's work. You'd yeah. rather do that than to play? No, I'd rather play. I mean, I enjoy doing, like, seeing the cities and stuff. I enjoy playing for people and stuff. Can you play instruments? Do you play instruments? When I play, I mess about on keyboards enough to structure my songs, but I'm no player. You don't play on your concerts? No, no, no. Just vocals? <laughs> Just vocals. Mama used to say it was a very big record for you. Yes, it was. Uh, thank you all very seller. much for making <laughs> it so big, you know. Uh, was it a million seller? It got close. We did uh, something like eight to 900,000 copies of it. Uh, it was very big in Europe for me as well, and very big in Japan. So because of that, I've had to spend a lot of time doing stuff over there as well as here. Your new single. Yeah. Uh, communication Breakdown, now, baby, I want you back. Uh -huh. Is that doing good? Well, uh, <laughs> it's strange because uh, it's the first ballad that I put out and uh, coming across the country, we wasn't sure if we were actually going to put it out. And we had all these real great reactions from the ladies when, uh, <laughs> when we played it live in clubs. So we decided to put it out as the next single. Are you ready to do it? Yeah, why not? Hey, give it up to Junior, everybody. Let's do it.